Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the mission in the next episode, Ask Pit a Pie. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit a Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you, my ongoing series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash MNJTV, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. I'm recording this about five days after Legends Arceus, <clears throat> excuse me, Arceus came out, and uh, I hope to see a lot of memes about the game, especially ones where Pokemon are violently attacking you, because that's just like, I can't get over that. That's crazy that that is just a major part of a Pokemon game. All right, here we are, r slash MNJTV, sorted by top in the past month. First one is he will be remembered, and it's a Squirtle about to get run over by a car. That's a bummer. Nobody Wobbuffet? There's people really just beating the crap out of that punching machine, doing all kinds of crazy moves. My gosh, are these, this is like a ninja academy? Okay, that guy just slapped him and then got, ah! <laughs> there you go. Nice job, Wobbuffet. RIP my eraser and pencil. Hope this is gonna get noticed. Wow, that is very good. It is sideways. So we could just rotate it 90 degrees in editing. We can admire it in its true beauty, but I have to do this. That is a very good Rayquaza and Team Sky logo. Go Team Sky. Very good. You're all freaking welcome. I don't understand the significance of this meme specifically. I know it's from the B Bidoof's Big Break video, which was very entertaining. If you didn't watch that on Pokemon's official YouTube channel, there's some great moments. In fact, I made a meme template for it. Hold on, let me find that. Ta-da! I loved this moment from the video, so I made this meme template and posted it to the subreddit. Like, hey, here's a meme template. Maybe someone will use it. So I guess we'll find out if someone actually decided to use it. Who done it? Oh, poor Corsola. I mean, I think we know who did it. What is with that Meryl? Why is, why is that Meryl tatted up? What? Then you try to catch a legendary, but run out of ultra balls. Random BS go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So most of those pokeballs, yes, random BS. However, dusk balls, assuming it is nighttime or it's a fight in a cave, are better than Ultra Balls. Timer Balls are also better than Ultra Balls if it's been at least 10 turns. Hello, Articuno from Pokemon. Hello, Chuck from Angry Birds. Oh, <laughs> I see. Ah, someone did my, they did it. They did, yes. Sending a lewd joke slash meme to friends, me, accidentally sending it in the family group chat. <laughs> Oh, that's, you, you get an upvote. I'm very happy you used my template. Or maybe you made it yourself. It's had the same effect. Other Pokemon regions. No, you can't go onto the tall grass without a Pokemon. It's too dangerous. Hisui. If he dies, he dies. The game literally says, if you can't pass this trial, you'll be cast out into the wilds where you'll probably die. And I'm just like, excuse me? Billy, what have you done? The Gen 3 starter is the worst starter trio. Shoot him again. Agreed. Oh, a Team Sky meme. I may be a villainous team, but I'm not gonna use child labor. Professionals have standards. Absolutely they do. People really liked that joke. I was very pleased. I came up with it on the spot. I work for Team Aqua because they offer free internet access. Understandable, have a great day. <laughs> Maybe you should join Team Sky. Uh, Team Sky's budget is uh, definitely not the same as the other teams. So free Wi-Fi. I don't know if I can promise you that. I could promise you excellent air quality though. Pokemon Go players in 2016. Oh, sick, I found a Pidgey. Pokemon Go players now. No, this Eevee does not have the rank one PVP IVs. Man, I haven't played Pokemon Go in like two and a half years. I mean, I've like, I had it on my phone and I've like opened it for like a brief moment, but like seriously played, I haven't played in a long time. I now, I, I was playing when PVP was introduced, but I've never cared about PVP. For Christmas, I want a dragon. Be realistic. I want Team Pixie Dust to come back. What color do you want your dragon? What am I supposed to do with Team Pixie Dust? Do you guys want a Team Pixie Dust playthrough on MNJTV Plays? I feel like it would only be appealing though to those of you who know what it is. <laughs> like a person who doesn't know anything about Team Pixie Dust is gonna be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Finish the quote. It is I, Grunty Boy, and I am here to steal your- Ha ha, it is I, Grunty Boy. Wait, let me guess. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. No, I, wait, yes, actually, how did you know that? Omniscience. Just kidding, it was an educated guess. Oh, 
Okay, well, I guess I'll just do my thing. Raid Shadow Legends is an incredibly fun free to play game where you can collect over 600 champions and use them to fight your way through epic battles, including crazy boss battles like the Guardian of the Void Keep, Malik Kavar. A former priest of the light and now master of void magic, he will be tough to beat. He unleashes lots of poison which can damage you all at once and nuke your team. Ooh, spooky. It really is. Raid has a ton to offer overall though, like fighting through the campaign and battling other players in the PVP arena, all while collecting new awesome champions along the way. And Valentine's Day events where you can get a hold of a brand new legendary champion. But will you be my Valentine? What? No. Why are you being so weird today? Sorry. You just do such a good job at these promos and I got a little jealous. <sighs> do you want to do the last part? Ooh, yes. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen to start playing Raid today. New players will get an awesome starter pack with the champion Ina, 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. You'll find rewards here for 30 days only. Happy now? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for making me very uncomfortable today. Ta-ta! The different types of Mikey, Normal Mikey, Mega Mikey, Hisuian Mikey, Mickey, the pre-evolution of Mikey. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I like the throwback to the blue hair. That was so long ago. Gosh, that was 2017. That's like four and a half years ago, which is also the same year I made the Arcus joke for the first time in an episode of Pokemon Talk. And all these years later, it's available on a shirt, mnjtvmerch.com. You can get the Legends Arcus shirt, but only for a limited time. Links in the description below, but as I said, mnjtvmerch.com. If you want one, you gotta get it soon because it will be going away. The Galar starters, but randomly translated multiple times through different languages. Mofu, rude, almonds, food, traffic light, year, we are stuck. <laughs> Cinderella, the brain. We are stuck is absolutely the best one. Mikey advertises a fun looking mobile game built on blockchain and NFTs. Uh, so I figure I should address this. You know, it did get a lot of upvotes. Um, I accepted that sponsorship before I fully understood everything about that stuff. Um, so I apologize. Um, I can't really go back and delete it. That would violate the agreement, but uh, I won't be accepting any more sponsorships from that game specifically and any games that focus on that stuff. I, I watched a two hour video about this stuff um, like uh, relatively recently after I had posted that video and I, I'm like, wow, I didn't know enough about this. So sorry about that, won't be doing it anymore. 2020, $20 million for Team Trees. 2021, $30 million for Team Cs. 2022, Hey guys, this year we're going to raise 40 million to save the sky. <laughs> Team Sky, Michael and Mr. Beast. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I I would I would get on board with that. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic CD. I'm not going to fully understand all these cuz I've not played like any Sonic games. I do see when they when he got the tall Sonic though. Sonic Unleashed is the Okay, that's pretty good. Shadow the Hedgehog is just hound him with a gun. <laughs> Mikey Gyarados can't fly. Gyarados, that's spelling is butchered, but yeah, um, the episode of my playthrough, which is on MNJTV Plays, if you wanna watch that, includes my reaction to this, I think. It hasn't been finished at the time of recording this, but it should be by the time this video goes up. You can see my live reaction to seeing that for the first time. Which character corresponding to your birthday will be traveling companion? Okay, mine's November and I get Silen. Oh, come on. The one Unova person. <laughs> And Unova's like the worst season of the anime. Man, Sword and Shield hype started over three years ago. I know, right? Now Sword and Shield is old and we've got home BDSP, Legends Arc, Goose, and Unite. Legends Arceus should honestly be like twice the size as all the other ones because this Legends Arceus might be the best Pokemon game ever made. I'll say it, it's incredible. Like obviously the graphics aren't perfect, but that's really my only complaint and you don't even notice them most of the time when you're into it. The gameplay is just so fun. Like it is, yeah, just so good. By the way, if you are enjoying the memes, you should subscribe to this channel. I did this once a month, it's very fun. What the heck happened to the budget? Oh, that's cute. What was everyone's first shiny? Mine was in the ultra wormhole and it was a shiny crustal. 
First shiny I ever found was an Electrike in Pokemon Ruby. Didn't catch it, ran out of Pokeballs. First shiny I ever caught, and the second one I ever found was a Fearow in Pokemon Home. No, not in Pokemon Home. In Pokemon Leaf Green. I have it in Pokemon Home, and I'll pull it up so you can see. Ta-da! This is the Fearow I got all the way back in Leaf Green. How uh, was it say? Seems the first men in the Kanto region on 5 2014 2014? That's not right. That had to have been, like when I transferred it to another game. Like if I transferred it to like, maybe it only tracks like dates back to like the gen four games. Yeah, that's gotta be what it is, 2014. Yeah, I was in college. <laughs> I caught it in like 2005. If Ditto transforms into a Magnuson, it would be like this or like this. Well, Ditto, if it does its job right, just looks like a Magnuson. But an incompetent Ditto, we'll have to see. Was there any instance in that one episode of the original season of the anime where Ditto transformed to a Pokemon with more than one face? I don't know. People who don't know, people who know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember watching this movie and being like, what the heck? My sister, I want a dog to be a puppy forever. Me, behold, the Everstone. Just give it a rock. As a Samurott fan, this form is honestly disappointing. Fan of what? Bad movesets and average stats? I just think he looks cool. I mean, he does. I don't mind the new Samurott form. I mean, it's not my favorite of the three. I picked my favorite of the three, which was Decidueye, but I like it. Awesome Team Sky fan art. Your application is accepted. Very good. Pokemon sprites then. Long time no see. Let's hug. Pokemon sprites now. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> well, one thing I will say that Legends Arceus, another thing I love about it is they gave Pokemon different poses in battle. So like Luxray in since the games went 3D in battle, it's just kind of standing there. But then like in Legends Arceus, it's like cr in battle, it's crouched down, like ready to pounce. It's just a dramatic improvement. It looks so good. I said this in my playthrough. I don't know if I said it in the recording. I don't know if it made the final cut of the video. I don't remember. But I said in Legends Arceus Luxray, it's the coolest Luxray has ever looked, which is saying a lot because Luxray has always been very cool. Michael trying to film a video. Grunty boy coming to steal something. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll fly. <laughs> it's so simple, oh, but that was good. Game Freak's best fan service. I won't tolerate people who have different ideas. They literally put us in their games. <laughs> I literally don't have any weaknesses because I'm an electric type and I have levitate. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Balloon Pikachu? <laughs> Where is Balloon Pikachu? Oh, ha! <laughs> That's some fun art. I like that. Oh, this is from the anime. I remember him in the Moltres costume. Enthusiasm like that is what Team Sky needs. He'd be a perfect member. Ha! No, he would not. <laughs> That's my teammate. Get your own. Right. That was very good. Oh, a new one. So what? Sky-based evil are you spreading again? I'm teaching chat profanities. What the hell? What the heck? What the AG double hockey sticks? How adorable was the Bidoof short? That's what I'm saying. Who's that Pokemon? Reply with your answer. Right on. <laughs> oh, I know it's an edit, but it's still pretty funny. People make fun of certain Pokemon for being ugly or having a bad typing, but they forget one thing. It's a Pokemon. They can breathe fire, create lightning, shoot giant laser pulses. How freaking cool is that? When you think about it, every Pokemon is awesome. I disagree. One is a stupid pink cow with nipples. Pokemon dance? <laughs> Sorry, was that important? <laughs> hey, Norman's around. Gen 1ers are people who hate modern games. Me whose first game was Ultra Sun. Oh, well, that's fun to hear about. We can't swim without Pokemon, otherwise we'll die, but we can dive and stay underwater for hours. <laughs> I mean, So in the more recent games, I don't know about Black 2, White 2, but in Oris, it shows your character with like one of those breather things, which I don't think exist in real life because it's like, how are you breathing? There's like no tank for air, but there's also a lot of technology in the Pokemon games that doesn't exist in real life. Mikey explaining why Johto has no wonders of the world, the lighthouse of Alexandria. What? One of the seven wonders of the ancient world. What? How did I miss this? My point still stands though because that is a very impressive, ornate construction from ancient times. Ancient times, meaning they had incredibly limited technology compared to what we have today. The Olivine Lighthouse is a regular modern day lighthouse. There's hundreds of them throughout the world. So it's not on the same level as this lighthouse. I cannot believe I am still talking about this. When I made this video last May, child exists, Drifloon, and I took that person. <laughs> oh man, I love the, I, I love this Michael Jordan meme and I, 
This is so good. I love, I love it when people take meme templates and like just remove certain words to make it say something else. Let me see if I can find one of my favorites. So this is one of my favorites where they take finally a worthy opponent and just make it say finally a whopper. And then this is another one of my all time favorite memes. Hades explaining that he's the God of the dead, not the God of death. I do not control the die. <laughs> Like the original line is, I do not control the speed at which lobsters die. And <laughs> then Atos explaining he's the god of death, not Hades. I do control the die. Then Atos explaining that it applies to animals too. I control the speed at which lobsters die. And Poseidon explaining that he is the god of the sea. I control lobsters. <laughs> I love this meme. So similar format means like this one, big fan. I'm gonna give you an upvote. Despite being in Pokemon since Gen 3, the Pokemon's feel has undergone zero character design changes. This because he is without flaw. I mean, that's correct. Past Mikey, you know I should make a joke about how all percentages that aren't 100% are just 50%. Mikey, now, shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I know. <laughs> he told me my fish would die the next day dead. He told me I'd grow a god and just like he said, said my hair would disappear. Now look at my head. Oh no, someone's making a balding septile joke. Oh, I like this though. That was pretty good. What's my spirit Pokemon? Mine is Swampert. Ooh, very good. I'm the dumbest man alive. I gave Reggie a lucky a quick claw. You're clearly dumber. Yeah. And so I'm bringing back this debate. <laughs> is this a real poll? <laughs> was this a, like someone actually put Arcus? Cause if so, I'm very happy. I wouldn't make you fight this mean Pokemon. You're still too weak for that. But I'm not. Haha, <laughs> excellent. Oh, another one! A platypus? Bury the platypus! <laughs> Legends Haku's protagonist after swimming in the water for three seconds. I've seen enough. I'm going to drown. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Pokemon fandom. Legends Haku's BDSP. I mean, yeah, what do you expect? Legends Arceus is a far, far better game. Choose your starter of the growth region. Michael. Misspelled. Mickey. <laughs> Mikey, Runty Boy to Brunty Boy to Grunty Boy. Wow, I really do make the same face. <laughs> Sky Monos, Sky Duos, Sky Dios. This is great, I like it. Although I will say with the Team Sky one, Sky Duos was from the first episode. I think you need to swap those bottom two. And that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon meme review. Make sure to pick up a Legends Aquus shirt at mnjtvmerch.com for a limited time. And thank you so much for watching. With an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, you gotta catch them all.